I have in front of me a Realm that's a brand new big time uh, account that I want to connect to QuickBooks Desktop. Uh, so we're just going to run through how easy it is to connect big time in QuickBooks Desktop. Uh, and I happen to be on the computer where QuickBooks is installed here. So I have this really simple sample file for QuickBooks. I can come in and see that I've got a couple of customers in here. I've got a couple of employees, pretty simple QuickBooks file. And I just want to connect this file to my big time account so that I can feed time and expenses and invoices back and forth. So to do that, I uh, land here on the big time dashboard page. And this is kind of where I begin. Uh, and I'm actually going to start by clicking this connect to my accounting system tile in the upper left. Uh, I'm just going to hit the continue button here. Uh, and I have a couple of options in front of me. So I'm going to actually choose QuickBooks Desktop and I'll click on it. Now, uh, when BigTime connects to QB Desktop, uh, we actually create a secure, private, encrypted cloud for your QuickBooks data. So everything is stored kind of behind the scenes, behind your password, so only BigTime can get access to it. And you actually control that access for us. So um, when I hit the enable link here in the sidebar, the first thing that the system is going to ask me to do is it's going to ask me to grant permission to create that secure, private cloud. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit grant, uh, and that will set things up for me. Now, in order to communicate with my local desktop file, BigTime will download a sync agent that actually runs on my local PC. And that sync agent will watch out for changes to QuickBooks, and it will look for changes from BigTime, and it will sync the two together. Uh, so I, the first thing I want to do is make sure that I'm, insta I'm installing that agent on a PC that has access to my QuickBooks file. And in fact, I need to be on a PC that has QuickBooks installed. Uh, because QuickBooks needs the program in order to talk to the file. Uh, the second thing to consider is which PC should I use, especially if I'm in a multi-user environment. Uh, and in that situation, I want to put it onto a PC that's going to be on and have access to the file during the times that I would expect to sync data. And oftentimes that's whoever the main QuickBooks user is, but sometimes it's another ma machine in the office. The key is to make sure that as other users are transferring data back and forth between BigTime and QuickBooks, if that sync agent is not running, you won't be able to connect data back and forth. So you want to pick a machine that has access to the QuickBooks file that will typically be running during business hours. So that's the key. For me, this PC is fine. I'm the only person with access to this QuickBooks file. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download the agent on this PC. Now, uh, it's a fairly simple file to download. I do need to have a QuickBooks file, obviously. I also need to have uh, a user login that will ask me for that information. The whole process takes about five minutes, so you'll see it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I start by just uh, clicking on the sync agent that I've downloaded and telling Windows it's OK to install. Uh, and once I do, sync agent pops right up. Uh, and so you can see there's a little icon down here in my system tray that's the sync agent icon and it's got my welcome screen here that says hey I'm ready to get connected to QuickBooks. So two things I have to tell sync agent on the desktop. Number one, which secure private cloud am I uploading data to? So I'm going to need my big time username and password. And then number two, which QuickBooks file am I pulling data from? Uh, and so I'll need to have access to that QuickBooks file. So first things first, I'll hit the Begin button here. It'll ask me for my uh, big time login. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my login here that based on what I was logged into big time as. Uh, and I'll hit the Login button in order to connect. Uh, and once I do, the system's going to tell me to have the QuickBooks file open. Now, I already have it open here. I'm logged in as the standard administrator. Uh, and then once it's open, I'm just going to hit the Connect button. Now, when I click that, QuickBooks is going to pop up and just tell me, hey, are you sure you want to allow Sync Agent to have access to this QuickBooks file? So I'm going to go ahead and click Yes Always. Uh, if I had multiple users attached to this QuickBooks file, it would actually ask me what user login should I use when Sync Agent attaches. And typically, you would use the admin password, or some people create a new user just for big time, so that's the user login that the system uses. You should pick whatever login you typically use on the machine you're installing on. Uh, so in this case, I don't have any other users. I can just uh, skip that step. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And once I do, that's all there is to it. Now Sync Agent and BigTime uh, are connected. I can minimize my QuickBooks file. I could minimize the Sync Agent if I'd like uh, and go about my business. Now if we watch this, this screen here, we'll actually see a sync occur. So what Sync Agent does is it goes out to QuickBooks or goes out to BigTime and sees if there's anything that it wants to upload. Uh, and when it spots something, it runs through a sync. And in this case, it's pretty straightforward. Once it's finished, it'll tell you it's, it's completed. So I don't actually have to watch that. And if I click off that screen, it'll go away. 
Uh, if I want to bring Sync Agent back for any, any reason, you can see that it's loaded here as an icon, and I can just click on that icon to pop it up. If I want to see the detail, I can see the detail here, when the last sync was, when the next sync was. And if I ever want to kick off a manual sync for any reason, I can click that Sync Now button, but typically, once Sync Agent is installed, you don't actually have to touch it. You can come to the My Company Integrations page here. Uh, QuickBooks Desktop is the one that we're connected to. Uh, and you can see where the sync agent was installed, what the local file it is that it's connected to, what the name of that file is. And that's kind of all there is to connecting these two. If I want to feed time or expenses or invoices back and forth, uh, that's fairly straightforward. All the sync happens in the background, so I don't have to click sync now or keep things updated or download web connector files or try and make sure that it's installed in the right spot. Everything just happens for you behind the scenes. And that's all there is to connecting big time with QuickBooks. Thank you.